if you have a cleaning business where it isn't repeat work, so say you were going to clean someone's carpets or you do a one-off clean, like a um, like you go in and you do an after builders clean, if you have a business that isn't a repeat business, so they don't come to you every week, then what you can offer is um, you can call them and say, hey, um, it was six weeks, six months, 12 months ago since we last cleaned. I'm just giving you a courtesy reminder to see if there's anything else that we can clean for you or any other solutions. People find this a really helpful conversation. If you spin it, especially if we're just reminding you because we recommend that you get your carpets clean every 12 months, they'll think, oh, that was nice of you to offer and nice of you to remind me. That saved me a job. Yes, book me in or no, but call me back in six months' time. So people actually see it as you're doing them a service and that's amazing. So that is if you have done a one-off clean for someone. But what if you clean for someone weekly, bi-weekly, monthly? So you do, you're a window cleaner or a maid service um, and you're always in somebody's home. What are you going to contact your existing customers and say? Well, you could tell them about the other services that you offer. Do they know all of the cleaning services that you offer? Um, you know, if you offer a maid service business, are you doing other things like oven cleaning? Um, if you're a window cleaner, are you offering other things like gutter cleaning, patio cleaning? Educate your customers. They want to know what other services you offer. They're already trusting you to come into their home. They don't want the hassle of finding another person to come and do another service. So if the same person that they can trust can also offer another cleaning service, they're going to be delighted. Um, my family's cleaning business is a carpet cleaning business. And we decided to get into premium floor cleaning as well. And on the week that we decided to offer premium floor cleaning, we contacted by email. So just email, we literally hit a send button and it blasted out to everyone. We contacted by email all of our existing customers, telling them about the new service that we offered. And within a week, we'd booked in £6,000 worth of new work for floor cleaning. And we also booked in £2,000 worth of carpet cleaning, so the service we already offered, because people saw our email and thought, oh yeah, I need to book in with smile carpet cleaning again so contact your existing customers but here's where it's really important is you want to make some sort of system so that you're contacting them on the regular you don't want to just contact them on the one-off make sure that you're doing that as a repeating task within your business <laughs>